G'day guys and welcome to this week's episode of Simply Fit and my review on this FitTech commercial series seated car phrase. So a little bit about this channel before we get into it. If you're new to the channel guys, this is all about home gym training. I'm sitting inside my home gym at the moment which I run a PT studio from in Australia. And it's all about the equipment I have, reviews, training, nutrition, supplements, everything to do with training at home, bodybuilding, sculpting your physique and just being the best version of yourself. That's all on this channel. So if that's uh, something that you like, have a look through my older videos and I've got a lot of content coming. So just right off the bat, a few of the stats for this machine. So the length of it is 127 centimetres. The width of it at the edges of the horns here, 75 centimetres. And the tallest part of it, which is the um, safety or the catch to you know, un unhinge it and put it back together, is 94 centimetres. So it's, it's fairly compact but it's super heavy, so this weighs 56 kilograms with nothing on it. So like everything else, the brand FitTech, it comes from Portugal. It's super overbuilt, super strong, um, and it's going to last a lifetime. So for me using it all the time, for the clients using it, I needed to have good equipment. That's why I went with the FitTech brand. So, uh, I've had this machine for about two months now, and I've used it a lot. Um, it's, it's, just like a regular seated car phrase where you put, put your knees under the pads and then you lift your heels up and you're just up and down on your heels like this on the balls of your feet. Very simple to use. You got this lever that swivels out and then un unlocks a machine. So you got a big range of motion and then there is a safety like that. So you can't bottom it out too much. So what I've got is my ATX silver plates, which I put on there. And I've found that I'm pretty tall, I'm about six foot two-ish. Um, if I put on bumper plates on this, which I've got a lot of bumper plates in the gym, they will bottom out if you're going, if you start off with this pad too high. So what I like to do is have it pretty low and then put my toes in and then jam my legs under it and that's gonna automatically unlock it and then I can start the movement. Then I can get a full range of motion without it hitting the bottom. That's obviously using bumper plates. So if you've got smaller um, diameter plates, such as, like I said, my ATX chrome plates, I put them on. It doesn't really matter where the uh, height of the pad is here. So you can see it goes up. That's as high as it can go, and that's low. So basically, the, pad, the size of the plate determines the range of motion and the full range of motion uh, for your movement. So that's just one thing to be aware of with this machine. You need to have smaller diameter plates or be able to sort of jam your leg in there to get it up the first time and then you'll be right. So I really, really love this machine. The upholstery is like everything else, FitTech, it's super premium. It's got the white nylon stitching it's got that really textured feel, which is a little bit grippy. Um, I like to put towels over the equipment I use it just, just for um, hygiene and to keep it good, to be honest. But going over the machine from the top to the bottom, all of the handles have got a nice rubber coating. And this has got like a, a silver capping on it with an Allen key, uh, Allen uh, bolt on the top. And it's, these are painted, really good finished paint job. The actual frame of the machine is in the, that matte black powder coating and it's really, really well done. It's painted so nice, there's no runs. All the equipment from FitTech is premium. But like I said in a few other videos where I've done my review on my bench from FitTech, my decline bench, everything's super solid. So this comes in a box and it's already put together and you've only got to put in four bolts. So the two bolts at the front, and the two bolts at the back and the rest of the machine is put together. So it literally takes you five minutes to, to put this machine together. So going down the machine, 
at its pivot point, which is behind, underneath my bum here, it's got the bushings, which are really, really smooth and solid. There's no sideways movement. So if I'm trying to move the actual machine side to side here, it's literally not moving. So some calf raise machines you see when you do it, they're really wobbly under your bum and they're really unstable. So really, really stable, really good point of movement right underneath you. So you've got a nice full range of motion and then everything is premium. So the pull pin is the same as all the benches where it's got the Fitec uh, branding laser etched into it. It's got the Fitec sticker on it, which is that chrome finish. That's a cool uh, addition. The only thing is on some of the equipment, such as this one, the sticker when it's been put on, it might've heated up in transport and a little bit of it's moved around and whatnot, but I don't really care about that. The footing on it, I've got the massive footing with the hard rubber uh, underneath, so it does not move on the ground. I moved this when Frosty and me were training earlier on just to get a bit of the footage for this video. And it's really heavy, like I said, 55 uh, kilograms or so. And yeah, it's very awkward to move. It does not move once it's on the ground. And then where the actual point where you put your feet to do the calf raise, it's got that really, really thick rubber uh, coating over it, which can be removed and replaced if it wears down. It's got a heap of grip in it. It's got little diamonds cut into it, kind of like a, a bigger style knurling if you, if you look at it that way. Um, and it's really, really grippy on your feet. Really comfortable to use, really overbuilt. Looks good, it matches my gym aesthetics, the color. And there's nothing I can say about this at all, uh, negative. The welds on it are really nice. And actually the one thing uh, that I found with this machine, which I need to uh, adapt or change is when you pull this lever out, it's got a little rubber um, cover over you know, the piece that the machine hits on, so it's not metal on metal. It's just a rubber you know, end cap. That's a little bit loose, so sometimes if the clients are using it, as they unrack uh, the machine, it'll pull this cover off. So easy fix to that is just put a bit of araldite or some sort of glue, a couple of dot drops on it, put it on, and that won't move anymore. So. That's literally the only thing that I can think of that um, yeah, is a, bit, a little bit of an issue with it. So that's the only issue, we're laughing. So like everything else, when you're buying quality, you need to spend a bit of money. So you can pick up calf raised machines like this from brands maybe like Force USA or Flex uh, Fitness Equipment or something similar to that, you know. Um, caliber of equipment for you know three or four hundred dollars this machine for every uh, everybody is 6.99 um, and i believe that y you need to buy quality when you buy gym equipment i've been training for 20 years and the one thing i've learned is don't buy it cheap because you're going to replace it it's not going to feel good to use you want to have a commercial feeling to your home gym whether you start off small and buy good quality and you build upon it or if you, like I did, I bought all this equipment over the last you know, three years or so, and I just paid it off as I went, and I got it all delivered at once. So I'll go in a bit more in depth on that for my full gym tour soon. But yeah, $700, awesome piece of equipment. Um, there's nothing I can say bad about it. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna um, use it every leg session, and yeah, just really, really good. If you have any questions about the equipment, uh, if you want any more videos or photos or whatever, if you're thinking about buying this brand or if you want my opinion on other brands, feel free to message me on YouTube or Instagram, Facebook. I've got a TikTok, I don't really look at it, I just put videos up. But give me a message anytime because I'm really interested in the gym lifestyle equipment and all that stuff, so I'm more than happy to answer any questions. If you have any ideas on future videos you want from me, whether it be training, whatever you think you'd like this channel to do, uh, let me know. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Subscribe to my channel if you already haven't. I've got a heap of ideas, heap of videos. Just, it's a fun channel. And as you can see, the kids are always here running around and we just have a bit of fun and yeah, I hope you enjoy it. I'm gonna get an upgraded camera shortly 
and some lighting and we'll be able to make some cool videos. So like always guys, remember, keep flexing. <laughs>